All right, gang, got a couple questions here about um, the week eight clarifications, also the concept papers. Um, when you look at week eight, we're looking at our life plan. So let's go to course documents, assignment guide. And we're going to scroll way down here to week eight. Okay, so week eight, um, you're going to explain how sexually transmitted infections can infect an individual's physical, social, mental, emotional, intellectual, professional, and economic well-being. Some of you have already done this. Some of you still need to do that. You need to investigate and analyze the cause and effect relationship between obtaining prenatal care, the health of the mother and the baby, nutrition, substance use, physical activity, and age, and the effects on the newborn baby in a life plan. Uh, research and create a comprehensive life plan that will enable students to manage time, stress, set goals, deal with conflicts, increase the use of disease prevention, lifestyle choices, using surveys and statistics from the CDC and NIH. So let's go. Here is the link to the discussion board for the STD slash STI and then post a thread to this week's discussion. So what you're going to get is the long-term effects. So again, if you had... Um, Chlamydia earlier on in the reproductive system um, discussion that we had, that's not going to work for this one, obviously, because it can be cured. So the long-term effects of that are going to be minimal, although it should be noted that the long-term effects of chlamydia can be sterility even if treated in a timely fashion. Next thing you want to do is explore the pregnancy questions, um, then complete the chart that shows the cause and effects of prenatal care health of the mother and the baby. This can be attached in the discussion board or it can be pasted either way. Analyze the testimonials of teenage mothers in the course documents. Um, optional, complete the CDC YRBSS posted, and then review the 2011 results posted in course documents to help you prepare your research project. This research project is going to be due Sunday, November 2nd in the fall here, um, and the description of that is here, Professional Life Plan Project Description. Create a plan using life management skills to address personal and social concerns that are part of the daily living, i.e. setting goals, managing time, stress reduction, dealing with conflict, and working with others. Your plan should focus on physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial slash educational smart goals smart specific measurable attainable realistic and timely to start brainstorming view this video clip from tony robbins so go watch the clip resources for the project will be centers for disease control national institute of health and the yrbss information provided above use the numbers provided on these sites to help drive your plan what can you do to limit factors that may keep you from accomplishing your goals in the time frame i.e. what choices should you make per um, sexual intercourse, per school, per your physical life plan, um, what kind of workout things do you need to be doing, um, what kind of things should you avoid, i.e. drugs, alcohol, tobacco. Um, then the checklist and rubric are provided for this project in course documents week 8. Do not procrastinate. So let's go back to course documents which we're already in and we're going to week eight sexually transmitted infections you can do it here under the learning module or you can do it here under the course documents <clears throat> when you're here pregnancy question and answers testimonials of teenage mothers YRBSS from 2013 link um, here's the 2011 data link here's the Tony Robbins goals so then let me scroll down just a hair more apparently you got to go back to this is the only place where it is so I'll copy this in there uh, midterm rubric and assignment sheet so I don't know why that's not showing up on the other one but we'll stick with it here so <clears throat> you're gonna write a smart goal specific measurable action goal timely uh, each goal has strong reasons and a paragraph explaining why you want to accomplish this goal and how it will make you feel Next, create an action plan that helps them accomplish their goal and manage their time and stress levels. Time management is going to be a key here. Next, student creates an emergency plan for dealing with conflict using statistics from the CDC, YRBSS, or NIH. Essentially, go to these websites, find problems that are common to people your age or a little bit older, and figure out ways to get around those downfalls. Uh, some examples are being assertive. 
using peer mediation, uh, getting adult consultation, creating a safe location to negotiate. Some of these would be for like conflicts with your peers um, or, you know, boy girl drama, um, anything that could become a problem, even so much as cyberbullying. This all obviously depends on what you choose out of the CDC, YRBSS, or the NIH. Student presents a paper or project that has good grammar and makes it easy for an outside reader to understand their goal, action plan, and emergency plan. So that is your rubric. Um, and then the bottom line is that you should make a plan and it should be specific to you. Don't put anything in here that you think I want to hear. Uh, just talk about your goals and your life and try and figure out some ways that you can problem solve before the problems arise. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know and I uh, look forward to another good week. Don't forget, obviously, that there is no concept paper. We're looking to have this thing turned in by November 2nd. The assignments then, we've already completed unit one. We're now in unit two, which is health maintenance. Click here. Here is where your assignments go. Personal life plan. Again, this is um, due on November 2nd, so you have plenty of time to work on this. Um, and here's the rubric. Here's the project description. Um, if you want to go take a look at that, you can. Uh, and then here's the Tony Robbins film. So then your next concept paper will be due in week 11. Um, so keep an eye on that. And let's see. <clears throat> I think that is it. So have a great week. And again, questions can go on the general discussion board. Thanks.